um, you know, the ball is your friend, and we, we punished them. We, we dismantled them in every, sense of the, uh, in every sense of the game. They had very little of this game. They didn't deserve a goal, and they got a goal. But um, what I loved was our response, our reaction from that. I, I, I've talked about it already. I mean, we've been leading in, in a couple of these games that we haven't been able to get points. Um, we've come from behind. We had the lead. We weren't able to hold it. So, guys, um, this was a very full, complete performance. Uh, um, you know, there was, there was a lot of credit to give to a lot of guys. Um, you know, Brendan heinz Ike hadn't played in three or four months, so we, we saw the effects of, of some of those things in Orlando when guys just die, when you have Biro who hasn't been around and Diego hasn't been around and Brendan heinz Ike, they haven't, these guys haven't played games. So to get the minutes that they got there helped get them in a place for this game. Um, and Seba was, was awesome. Good to have him back out there. His presence, his quality gives confidence to the group. Um, Diego works tirelessly. Owen was fantastic, uh, very ball secure, very much uh, involved in a lot of, the, of, our, of our attacks in the first half. Um, he's been part of three, three of our goals this season. So he's got quality. He's a calm, technical player. Danny Pereira, uh, it was a man's performance for him. It really organized. He's, he, in that part of the field, there is risk with what he does. He's a, he's a ball handling center mid. He's as good as they get in the league. But um, certain games, there's bigger risks in the middle of the field. So I think today, this opponent, we, we knew we'd be able to utilize his, his qualities. And Brennan and Julio were quite good. And we created a boatload of chances. Two goals is nowhere close to enough. We had plenty on the doorstep, plenty that we didn't get on the end of. Um, in many fat, in many ways, run a play, set pieces, transition. So, all in all, pretty solid. Yeah, and then just kind of curious about the ending again. You put Hedges on as an extra yeah. center back, pull yeah. an upfield player. I'm just kind of curious about that approach. Yeah, that hasn't it, always worked out. So. Yeah, no. I mean, it's it, whether it works or it doesn't work. It's it, what's the opposition doing, and and um, you know what? Where is the need? And it, it didn't work in the previous game, but it's the right decision. There's five guys on the line. They have two center strikers. They're pushing. Um, both wingers are on the line, and, and they'll have a central guy that moves up and down off the line. So you need the numbers. Obviously, guys are tired, so it allows us to be aggressive and, and jump to guys out wide. Plus, the front three still have to do a good job pressing. Owen, Giassi, Diego, and Seba still did a good job pressing and getting out to balls, even, even though you are a back, a back five. So, um, you know, we don't do it unless we feel like we need to do it. And the need comes based on what the opposition's doing. And, um, you know, it didn't work out before. It was the right decision. It just wasn't executed well enough. So, um, you know, I think that's, that's part of the learning curve for our guys. We've showed them that. And we can also use the ball more in those moments. We can keep the ball and kill the, kill the game. You can either score goals and finish off the game, you can keep the ball to kill the game, or you can defend and grind. So I think all those were there for us um, in the end. Eric? Yeah, Josh, I mean, this isn't the first good performance you guys have had at home, but it is the first three points. Just yeah, how, right. how, good, how good does that feel no, just to get the, the result? I think that's the best way to put it. These guys have, um, you know, they, they, they work hard. They're, that's, never, that's never a question. Um, they work hard for each other. They work hard for the fans. Um, the fans were awesome. The, the noise in the, in the stadium today, again, was incredible. And when we went down a goal, they even come louder. And then when we get the goal, it's, it's you know, it gets, um, it gets quite loud and energetic in there. And that drives our guys. That pushes our guys. So... Um, good performances, I'd say good moments inside some of our games, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, but not 90 plus minutes. Today was a much more complete game from start to finish. The intent and in, in the way that we, we started the game with what we wanted to do to Dallas was extremely good. Our execution was quite good. I talk about, um, you know, understanding your position, the discipline inside the game, and then execution. So we can execute much better in front of goal. I think we, we created so many good situations to only get two goals is, is, is the disappointing part. Um, but variety and, and getting around the edge, breaking them down centrally, um, our, our hot zone service, as we call. So uh, th there were a lot of opportunities, a lot of good performance. And then not only you, you get Sebastian for 90 minutes, which yeah. I think was big, but also, you know, I think especially in the second half, you kind of he kind of seemed to get his rhythm back sure. and his confidence back. What did you see from him, especially leading up to that assist? Um, his want and need to be on the ball. I think he's the one guy you give more freedom to. He moves around the field. Um, you know, I think Seba, Alex, Owen, these guys have um, good instincts. They're, they're good soccer players. So you want them to be, um, as much as I talk about a positioning, positional game, it's not static. So we had hard overloads with six guys on one side, seven guys on one side. And when you're doing that, you just have to have a, a, you know, a, a balance, you know, some balance on the weak side. And um, the guys did a good job with that. But Seba sets the team. He sets the tone. He sets the pulse. His quality is... Um, is, is, again, one of the best in the league. There's, there's no doubt. So important to get the minutes in Orlando. Got him to a good spot this week. He trained well. He felt well. He performed quite well. Um, that should give him a lot of confidence. And, you know, goals will follow. Goals will follow. There's no doubt in our mind. But um, we'll enjoy this for a day or two, and we'll get ready for San Jose. Yeah, and, and just last thing on that point, you know, I know you're a golfer. You know you can't follow a, a birdie with a bogey. So how big does 
it, you know, in terms of building momentum yeah. and building up points, how big is next week's match become it's after big. this result? It's at home. I mean, these home games, I, you know, I know we tied some games at home. They're good opponents, um, you know, but we left some points on the board. We know that. We, we've, we talked about it at the beginning of the year being, um, being more, you know, more efficient at home. And um, when we have a full group, um, you know, not that that's an excuse. We, we still were able to win those games. We were competitive and we didn't get it done. And the, the guys were frustrated from that, but they keep working. They stay hungry. They stay humble. And, um, you know, every game, every week is challenging. The, this game is, is not easy. The guys executed well. Um, and, and, you know, I think they buried, buried the opponent in a lot of ways. And, you know, the only, the only disappointing part is just not scoring more goals. You can never score enough goals. You really can't. And um, San Jose will be a tough task. I know they had a couple guys thrown out of their game, so they'll still be quite good. Lucci's a tremendous coach, and, and they're a possession-based team. So you've got to find ways to, to disorganize them when you have it, but be buttoned up when, when you don't have it. Jorge? Yes, uh, Josh, after the game, I saw you celebrating with a lot of emotions. What this victory means to you? Um, it's, a, it's a victory. It's one victory, and we get ready for next week. And uh, I, I don't know if you knew about the rally, the Wolf Out rally today. Uh, do you think with these kind of uh, games, do you change? I, well, I'm, I'm not sure what the question was. Yeah, today was a Wolf Out rally. It was uh, on, you know, like from across straight to here. Um, do you th and they want, basically, I, I had interviews with people, they yep. want straight victories. Is that a pressure for you, or, or what do you think? Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know how to answer that, so I won't. Phil? Um, yeah, so I mean, obviously, with the win, you come kind of back into the big playoff mix. There's uh, teams between 6th and 12th that are a point apart, 7.6 points. So is that, I mean, is that just kind of the nature of the West that you get a result and then you can be back in it? Or I think so. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, it's competitive. We, we know... Um, you know, we're rebuilding. We're, we're trying to get better. We, we, we have lost so many players and, you know, we're working to, to replace some of them. We're working with what we have, but the guys remain extremely competitive and the West is going to be challenging. We, our goal is to make the playoffs. We know how challenging that is. You know, I, I think last year was, was challenging, but this is 2024 and we have a group that's ready to compete. And, um, you know, last year's last year, like you guys talk about you know, wins and so forth. We want a game. We want to come out next week and win the next game. And that's, you know, we focus on the next opponent and our process. And um, that's, that's the best way I can give you. We, 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 we stick to our script and we go to work. I mean, do you think this is a playoff caliber team? Um, yes. It's, you've got to perform. You've got to have consistency. You've got to stay healthy. And, um, you know, in order to do that, you, you know, make the playoffs, you've got to finish ninth or better. So that's, that's the goal. That's the objective. And hopefully there's some help down the road. And we can't predict that. So... I know these guys have played against St. Louis. They've played against Philadelphia. They've competed. We've been in the leads. We've, we've gone on the road to Seattle. We've, we've done enough at home um, and didn't get points. But we've got to keep getting better like everybody else. These guys are warriors. They work extremely hard. You know, I get it. Fans get frustrated. We want to win every game. It's, it's not, you know, it's it. I don't think any team's gone 34-0 in our league. So we, we, like everyone else, have to just keep grinding and keep pushing. And, um, you know, as you stack up points, you can hopefully build some momentum and confidence. But... Um, we don't. Um, we don't. We don't get too distracted by the noise. Any other questions, guys? All good. All right. Thank you, Josh. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you. Thanks, Josh. Take this from you guys. You can follow me. <laughs>